Hey everybody, hope you're doing well on this fine Tuesday. Uh, today is, or would have been our second day of camp, and the second week of camp that we ever had was in 2016, and the theme was Hollywood. The theme verse was John 17, 16, and if you can read the poster, it says they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I'm going to turn it over to Jeremy. He's got a short lesson for us that focuses on this. Hey everybody, this is Jeremy. I'm here to talk to you about one of our nights of camp that we had in the past. It's tough this year thinking about it's summer and I'm actually outside right now at my parents' farm and all the beauty and nature and today's actually the first day of camp and it's tough even for me and us as leaders knowing that we're not going to have camp this year but we tried to do something a little different to still keep y'all engaged and try to talk about the highlights of what we've done in the past and the year that I'm going to bring back to the forefront of our memory is the Hollywood year which is 2016. In that year it's the first time that we were actually introduced to Roy's videos. Roy wasn't with us at the first year of camp but if you remember those who, of you who are there we had the marquee sign and every night the speaker's name would be different saying now welcoming Big Reedy Welcomes, Scott Wilson and Gary Hill. The other thing we had out front was the huge Hollywood sign and if some of you may remember part of that sign was stolen and we had to replace it but then on the third day of camp that word changed from Hollywood to Holy Word which was part of our design because we wanted our kids to focus on the theme that year, which was even though Hollywood paints such an awesome picture and we all think we want to be like that, it's not really how God wants us to be. Other things that we introduced that year were color bombs. And color bombs may have been the one thing that changed camp so much compared to the other years. We also had our epic game show of Hollywood Squares where we had so many characters both from the Bible and from popular culture. We had the first scary night which was Houston Haas Hairs which is a spoof of Five Night at Freddy's and that has to be one of the most memorable, memorable nights that we had. And then we ended that week with the talent show. And If you were there you remember the song that was sung at the end that kind of got us all right here. Our focus that week was we needed to be different. Even though our friends and maybe even our family members don't believe this Jesus thing like we do, we were different. And some of the things that were different is we still had joy no matter what we did. We have an inner peace and we have fun without doing things that we're not supposed to do. This fun is refreshing it's inviting and it was desired by other people who hadn't experienced it before. The verse that we had on our Hollywood t-shirts was they, meaning the disciples or Christ followers, they are not of the world just as I am not of the world. You know, even though the Hollywood movies and TV shows and reality shows, they're all about entertaining us a lot of them are plagued with sin and they try to show us that sin is the cool thing and the right thing, but we know otherwise. And the funny thing is, none of these Hollywood producers and none of these directors invented any of it. When you start reading through the Bible, everything that we are exposed to now, people were also exposed to in the Bible. It's all in there, the bad stuff, but even the super cool stuff. When we think about superhero movies, for instance, we think about Ego from the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. He was this god who could create things, create worlds. Creation is in the Bible. When you think about Storm from the X-Men and how she could control weather and control the elements, it's in there. God create across the uh, God parted the Red Sea so that the Israelites could cross over under the direction of Moses. 
even when you think about the power of fire, when you think about Johnny Storm from Fantastic Four, he wasn't the first one. First Kings chapter 18 talks to us about how God sent fire down and the fire was so hot that it burned up the sacrifice, even with water poured all around it. Other things that we think about that only exist in the movies that actually God and Christ invented first, one of them is being able to fly. When Jesus ascended into the heavens in Acts chapter 1, People in Hollywood didn't invent that. It had already been done by someone who lived here on the earth. Christ could also appear at any moment he wanted to after his death, burial, and resurrection. There's multiple chapters that talk about that. So we think, was it Nightcrawler who could do that from the X-Men? No, Christ did it first. The Bible is also full of plot twists where the hero would go through agony and then become victorious in the end. The most ultimate of those of where the underdog won was Jesus dying on that cross. If we think about it, he had done all of these miracles and he had so many followers and it was just so amazing all the things he had done. But he knew what he had to do for us. And he was arrested and his disciples, his followers, had no power to help him. And he was tried. And just like some of the TV shows today with crooked lawyers, the crookedest of the worst were taking him down. And then he was beaten. And then he was murdered on a cross. And when we think about movies today, it was such a tragic ending and the hero has died, but even more powerful than Superman, who in those movies we thought had died and then was brought back by some concoction that Batman and Wonder Woman came up with. Jesus came back to life because God wanted him to and because throughout the entire Old Testament it had been prophesied that he was going to on the third day. And so the biggest underdog story of them all is Jesus winning over death and winning over death so that we could live. That whole sacrifice was for each of us. When we think back to, those, to that week in 2016, we had different movie genres. We had suspense and mystery, adventure, thriller, and wars. We had a sci-fi day, superhero day a comedy day, and even a western day. But mostly what I remember about that week is as directors and as campers, we took it to the next, de next level with our themes and with our lessons, with our worship times, with our games, but especially with our memories. I want to read a verse from Romans chapter 12 that kind of sums up what we talked about that week about Hollywood. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. I miss y'all. I miss camp. We will be back next year bigger and better than ever. I want to remind you to get on social media and buy t-shirts, the Big Reedy Christian Camp t-shirts, to help support not only campers, who aren't able to go this year, but also to support the facility itself. Thank you for that. Thank you for your time.